In today's video, we'll pick up where we left off in part 1, which is about the 11 electric vehicle stocks to buy for 2023 and the next 10 years. And it's okay to watch the entire video even if you haven't watched the first part. You can catch up on it afterward. Disclaimer, please do your own research before investing or buying any stocks that we're about to mention in this video. And without further ado, let's get started. EV stock number 6. Don't overlook this small electric bus maker with big potential. Approximately 3,600 electric medium and heavy-duty commercial vehicles and buses were sold in the United States in 2020, according to Bloomberg NEF, representing a penetration rate of less than 0.1%. Clearly, this presents a sizable opportunity. President Joe Biden's administration plans to include $7.5 billion for electrifying America's buses in its trillion-dollar infrastructure package. With a $100,000 average price, that $7.5 billion can purchase 75,000 electric buses. Only 400,000 school buses are currently in use in the United States. To put it another way, the new infrastructure bill represents a significant first step towards electrifying America's bus fleet. The majority of buses in America by 2030 may very well be electric, but our way of thinking is not unique to us. By 2030, Bloomberg NEF projects that over 250,000 electric buses will have been sold in the United States, an increase of almost 7,000%. That's significant growth. Therefore, don't ignore the market for electric commercial vehicles. It might not be as sexy as the market for passenger cars, but in the upcoming years, the electrification wave in commercial transportation will be one of the most lucrative hyper-growth markets. So how do you enter this market for electric buses? By acquiring the electric bus manufacturer that currently dominates this market in Canada and has the potential to use its early Canadian success to become a global electric bus manufacturer worth many multiples of its current valuation. Electric bus manufacturers abound in North America. However, Lion Electric is the only manufacturer of electric buses that dominates the Canadian market. The Quebec-based Lion Electric Company was established in 2008. In 2016, the company began making medium and heavy-duty EVs. The company has created a very high-quality and distinctive electric bus with a fully composite body, cutting-edge charging capabilities, and a noise generator to warn pedestrians when the bus is approaching, filling a niche in the market for electric buses. However, there are many manufacturers of reliable electric buses in existence. So what makes Lion Electric unique? The company's manufacturing capabilities are what it is. The Canadian government prefers Lion Electric to construct a highly automated battery pack assembly facility in Canada. Lion Electric received a $100 million investment from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Quebec Premier Francois Legault in March. The company's 900,000 square foot Illinois manufacturing facility and that one are anticipated to work together to produce about 20,000 high quality electric buses annually. That is a significant differentiator in this market. It's not surprising that Lion Electric has 817 vehicles on order as of May 2021, that it will deliver 260 of those buses to first student over the next year, making first student the largest operator of zero-emission school buses in North America, or that the company recently delivered six trucks to Amazon and has another 2,500 vehicle deliveries planned for the e-commerce giant by 2025. Lion Electric's market cap, as of October 14, 2022, according to CNBC, is $482.60 million. If they can maintain this level of performance, which we may think they can, then the stock could easily increase by 10 times. So, if you're bullish on the market for electric buses, you should think about investing in Lion Electric stock right now. EV Stock Number 7 
a tiny lithium mining stock with huge upside potential in the EV revolution. Lithium will be used in the manufacture of all future electric vehicle batteries, whether they are solid state or liquid batteries. Naturally, this implies that demand for lithium will skyrocket as the EV megatrend disrupts the global auto market over the course of the next 10 years. According to Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, the global demand for lithium is anticipated to increase by over 20% per year for the next 20 years as EVs project to scale from a 2% global auto market penetration in 2019 to a 70% plus penetration by 2040. This means that over the next two decades, the demand for lithium is expected to increase by almost 4,500% making lithium mining stocks one of the best ways to profit from the EV revolution. Investing in the people who are selling the picks and shovels for a megatrend is one of the best and most reliable ways to profit from emerging megatrends in burgeoning industries without risking everything. The picks and shovels of the electric vehicle industry are the metals used to create the batteries, with lithium serving as the primary component. So, if you want to make wise investments in the EV revolution, you should pay close attention to the stocks of lithium mining companies. A tiny $340 million miner by the name of Neo Lithium stands out from the competition in the lithium mining market. This is due to the fact that Neo Lithium, number one, is located on what may be the most valuable lithium deposit in the world. Number two, is close to commercializing this ultra-valuable deposit. And number three, has a stock price with significant upside potential if this company's mine begins operations in the coming years. For a 350 square kilometer area of land in the southern part of the Emerald Triangle, which the company calls the Tree Q Project, Neo Lithium has obtained a 99-year mining permit. There are enormous lithium reserves on this piece of land. This lithium is also high-grade with a 4.0 MT of measured and indicated resources, 3.0 MT of inferred resources, and 1.3 MT of proven and probable reserves. With so much high-grade lithium available, it's no surprise that Neo Lithium has forged a solid strategic alliance with CATL the largest battery manufacturer in the world and maker of electric vehicle batteries for brands like BMW, Honda, Mercedes, Toyota, and even Tesla. CATL invested $8.5 million in Neo Lithium, more of an investment in a partnership, acquiring an 8% equity stake in the business. On a more positive note, Neo Lithium stock is significantly undervalued. At an 8% discount rate, the projected cash flows for 3Q are worth more than $1.1 billion after taxes. In 2021, the market capitalization of the stock is only about $340 million, or about 30% of that. The potential gain in this tiny mining stock is substantial if Neo Lithium succeeds. Such a big deal that EV revolution bulls might want to think about buying Neo Lithium stock right now. EV stock number 8 The unrivaled leader in DC fast charging. Without a charger, you can't operate an electric vehicle. Consequently, the businesses that produce EV chargers will achieve phenomenal success during the EV gold rush of the following decade. However, investing in stocks for EV chargers is a little more complicated than simply buying stock in any company that produces EV chargers. A combination of AC chargers in urban areas and DC fast chargers on interstates will make up the EV charging infrastructure of the future. Therefore, the companies that are either really good at making and installing super cheap AC chargers or really good at making and installing super high performance DC chargers are the ones you should invest in today for significant long-term gains. We'll tell you about a business that fits into the latter category. This company, EVgo, which is going public through a SPAC merger with Climate Change Crisis Real Impact Acquisition Corporation, 
is actually the undisputed leader in DC fast charging in America and has tremendous long-term potential. Since putting in place the nation's first urban fast charging station in 2012, EVgo has been the leading DC fast charging company in the United States. Since then, the business has grown and built on its early success in fast charging. And as a result, it now owns over 800 DC fast charging stations in the United States, giving EVgo a 50% market share. DC FC Industry with over 800 DC FC stations spread across 68 metro areas and 34 states, EVgo already runs a difficult-to-replicate network. 41% of Americans and 83% of Californians, respectively, reside within 10 miles of an EVgo DC FC station. Nobody else can make that claim, and it will take significant capex for anyone to challenge it. Additionally, EVgo has taken advantage of its position as a market leader to forge profitable alliances with businesses like Tesla and General Motors. These alliances strengthen the EVgo ecosystem and widen the company's advantage over rivals. EVgo has the means to continue expanding. The $575 million in cash that EVgo will receive in the post-SPAC transaction will be used to fund the company's continued DCFC site construction, which will only strengthen its competitive advantages. Overall, EVgo is in a great position to not only maintain but also strengthen its early leadership position in the DCFC market. If this is the case, EVgo will eventually become one of the most valuable businesses in the EV charging market. The long-term upside potential is strong so strong that you might want to add EVgo stock to your buy list right away. Before we talk about another EV stock, please give a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video so far. Also, do you want your comments to be highlighted? Try our super thanks, and your comments will be highlighted in this video or join our membership program. EV stock number 9. The one company that can catch up to Tesla. One business has a chance to overtake Tesla. There is one business that can compete with Tesla's EV battery technology, luxury branding, and capacity for mass production. We believe it to be the only business with what it takes to truly challenge Tesla for dominance of the global EV market. The company in question, Lucid Motors, is what we consider to be the Tesla killer. However, Tesla cannot reign supreme indefinitely. That doesn't mean to disparage Tesla. We adore the business. Tesla cars became the coolest cars on the road throughout the 2010s because there weren't many of them on the roads, which is an honest observation about society. The more Tesla vehicles on the road, the less cool they will be, and the less demand there will be overall from consumers. And Lucid Motors entered the picture at that point. The Lucid Air, the first vehicle from luxury EV manufacturer Lucid Motors, is expected to set a new benchmark for luxury in EVs thanks to its industry-leading driving range, interior cabin space, horsepower, charging times, and acceleration. The company intends to take advantage of Lucid Air's success as the best EV in the world to later introduce less expensive EV models that will enjoy strong demand, similar to what Tesla did in the 2010s with the Model S or X and Model 3. Management's long-term goal is for Lucid to emulate Tesla's strategy while performing at a higher level and using better technology. This will enable the company to one day surpass Tesla in size and sell millions of technologically advanced vehicles at all price points. It is a daring vision, but we believe it is feasible. Tesla was successful due to four factors, a highly skilled team, superior EV technology, fantastic brand equity, and an abundance of financial resources. The only EV startup in the world with all four of those attributes is Lucid Motors, and it's possible to argue that Lucid outperforms Tesla in each of those areas. Overall, 
Lucid Motors has everything it takes to compete with Tesla and perhaps even unseat it in the EV market. Investing today could be comparable to purchasing a Tesla 10 years ago. EV Stock Number 10 The Luxury Design King Pioneering an Affordable, Sustainable EV Henrik Fisker is a well-known name among auto enthusiasts. He is a legendary figure in the automotive industry, primarily because he was the designer of many of the most recognizable luxury automobiles, including the Aston Martin DB9, Aston Martin Vantage, BMW Z8, and BMW X5. So, the world takes notice when Fisker creates a car. Today, Fisker has dedicated all of his time and energy to creating the Fisker Ocean, an ultra-luxurious, ultra-affordable, and ultra-sustainable ESUV through his new company, Fisker Incorporated. The Ocean is actually referred to as the Tesla Killer by many industry insiders because it is a genuine competitor to Tesla's Model X and Y in terms of performance, appearance, and features. Up to 300 miles of the best available driving range are provided, which is largely consistent with the base versions of the Model X and Y. It also has a large digital display screen with a cutting-edge in-vehicle software platform, four-wheel drive for off-roading, a lot of horsepower, a sub-3-second, 0-60 to 60 miles per hour get-up, and a very attractive, futuristic exterior design. All of these features are comparable to the Tesla Model X and Y. Sure, it has less cargo space, 45 cubic feet with seats down, versus 60 plus cubic feet for the X and Y, and seating space, it's a 5-seater versus options for 7-seaters in the X and Y. The ocean compensates for these drawbacks, however, with a fully vegan interior and an integrated solar panel roof which will allow for auto recharging while driving and therefore result in longer driving ranges, the entire interior is made from recyclable materials. The Ocean will retail for just $37,500, which is significantly less than the $50,000 base price for the Model Y and the $80,000 base price for the Model X. Therefore, in terms of technical specifications and aesthetics, the Ocean is close to rivaling Tesla Model X and Model Y. Fisker will sell a lot of Ocean cars over the next 5 years if it can successfully manufacture them at scale. As a result, the company will be worth much more than its 2.038B market cap as of October 14, 2022. Scaling manufacturing for a new car involves a lot of execution risk, so obviously that's a big if. Fisker will be able to concentrate intensely on design and software thanks to its partnership with Volkswagen, two areas that will help the business create and maintain competitive advantages. Fisker, therefore, has all the necessary ingredients to develop into a very competitive player over the coming few years in the rapidly growing EV market. EV Stock Number 11 A Disruptive Battery Stock to Play the Leap into Solid-State Batteries EVs are powered by batteries, and these batteries are about to leap enormous distances. Solid-state batteries represent a technological advance over liquid batteries, which have a solid cathode, solid anode, and a liquid electrolyte solution connecting the two, which replaces the liquid electrolyte solution with a solid. By becoming solid, batteries become more efficient, compact, and space-efficient, lasting much longer and charging much more quickly than previous generations of batteries. A tiny business by the name of QuantumScape is at the center of this shift. The highest caliber pure play on the megatrend of solid-state EV batteries is QuantumScape. The most cutting-edge technology is found in QuantumScape's solid-state battery game. Since they are so expensive to produce and have a propensity to short-circuit due to dendrites that develop in the solid electrolyte material over time, Solid-state batteries haven't exactly been widely adopted up until now. The technology behind QuantumScape has fixed both of these issues. 
QuantumScape's all-in battery costs are 17% lower than all-in costs for conventional lithium-ion batteries, thanks to the company's use of an anode-less battery cell design, which eliminates anode manufacturing costs. QuantumScape's batteries don't have dendrite issues because of the company's proprietary design, which uses a ceramic electrolyte with high dendritic resistance. QuantumScape is thus well positioned to develop a new category of EV batteries that are less expensive, last longer, and charge more quickly. QuantumScape also possesses all the intangibles, including a skilled management team, significant partnerships, and experienced investors. The management team, which is led by the former founder of Infinera and a Stanford graduate, is essentially made up of the top graduates in physics from Berkeley and Stanford. In fact, Stanford's Chair of Mechanical Engineering serves as the company's chief scientific officer. The largest automaker in the world, Volkswagen, has invested $100 million in QuantumScape and has pledged to use the firm's solid-state batteries in its vehicles by 2025. Volkswagen is dedicated to electrifying its entire line of vehicles. Bill Gates is on the list of early investors in QuantumScape. One more thing is that QuantumScape has plenty of cash on hand to carry out its long-term growth plan. QuantumScape will receive more than $1 billion in cash and funding commitments as a result of the SPAC agreement. Volkswagen also has a lot of cash to throw at the company. Bill Gates agrees. Therefore, QuantumScape has the means to put its long-term objective of becoming a well-known, best-in-class supplier of solid-state batteries to the EV industry ahead of its immediate concerns about cash flow. The potential upside for QuantumScape stock is enormous if management succeeds in realizing that bold objective. That's it for today. I'm Fred. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. Did you know that to begin investing and gaining wealth in the stock market, you don't need to be a financial whiz? In actuality, six ETFs are all you need to invest in. Interested? Then click and watch the next video here.